Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a cool geometry puzzle. And at the end of the video, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please let me know what you think about the video. I really appreciate your comment and support. Let's get started. Three identical squares are inscribed in an equilateral triangle as shown. What ratio of the triangle is shaded? So there's something funny about this. Which triangle are we talking about? If I'm talking about the little mini shaded blue triangle in the middle, then 100% of the triangle is obviously shaded, correct? But of course, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the big one. So we can designate some length. Since we're looking for the ratio, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's call this length one. And then let's call this, well, since this is equilateral, this is going to be a 60 degree angle. If this is one, this is going to be root three, and this is going to be a two. This is going to be a root three. And then we're going to be getting some other lengths from here as well. Let's find out what they are. For example, since this guy here measures root three on either side or on all sides, this is going to be a root three. This is going to be a root three. This is 60 degrees. Now, we kind of have like uh, the same situation here. Those two triangles are congruent, aren't they? So this is going to be a one and this is going to be a two. Awesome. Now, what do we know about the other lengths here? So that's kind of like critical. Well, uh, this looks like this is a 30 degree angle. This is a 90 degree angle. Therefore, this is a 60 degree angle. You could also tell because it's kind of parallel to one of the sides of the equilateral triangle. Awesome. So this is a 30 degree angle. What do we know? Well, the hypotenuse is basically two times the shorter leg or the shorter leg is twice. I mean, what twice? It's half. So the shorter leg is half the hypotenuse. So this is going to be root three over two here. Awesome. So that basically gives us the side length for the equilateral. Isn't that cool? Nice. That's what, something that we need. Okay. So what we need to do now is find the side length for this tiny, tiny uh, triangle here which is the blue one. Okay, how do we find that one? Well, if the shorter leg is root three over two, I multiply that by root three to find the longer leg. So the longer leg here is going to be then, what, three over two. But I also know that the whole thing is root three here, as you can see here, uh, and that's a square. So all sides have the same length. Therefore, that little piece here, if you call that X, that little piece for the side length, right, x, 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 then x is going to be what? x is going to be square root of 3 minus 3 halves. Awesome. Then what I can do is I can actually make a common denominator and write it as 2 root 3 minus 3 divided by 2. So that would be the side length for my little tiny triangle in the middle. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to find the ratio of the triangle shaded. So what I need to do is find the area of the small triangle and then find the area of the large triangle and then divide them. So, but to find the areas, I do need the side lengths. And notice that for an equilateral triangle, if the side length is X, the area would be X squared multiplied by root three over four. But since both of the triangles are gonna have that, we don't really care about that because they're going to cancel out. So basically, you're basically looking at the ratio of the side lengths squared. That's pretty much what it comes down to, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and write that down. The uh, side length for the big triangle, side length for the big triangle is going to be 1 plus root 3 plus root 3 over 2 plus 2, okay? All right, now what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and simplify this. Let's go ahead and simplify that. 1 plus 2 can be added. That's going to give us a 3. And these two can be added as well. And that's going to give us 3 root 3 over 2. So that's my side length for the large rectangle and for the, I mean, the triangle. And for the small one, it's this one. So what I need to do next is basically find the squares of these quantities and uh, find their ratio. But before that, let's go ahead and make a common denominator here as well. So write it as 6 plus 3 root 3 divided by 2. So that's going to be my larger length. That's going to be my smaller length. And I'm going to be looking at the ratio of their squares. All right, let's go ahead and do that. One way to do that is you can actually go ahead and find the ratio here and then square it. Or you can square and look at the ratios. Doesn't really matter. No big deal. But I guess it'll be slightly easier if you just look at the ratio and then square it. Okay, so 
the ratio that I'm looking for is going to be then 2 root 3 minus 3 over 2 divided by 6 plus 3 root 3 divided by 2. And both of them are squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the ratio first and then square the quotient. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and proceed from here. The two cancels out. Then I end up with this slow. Let's go ahead and simplify that expression. And then we'll come, uh, we'll go back and square it. So what I have is 2 root 3 minus 3 divided by 6 plus 3 root 3, which obviously can be multiplied by the conjugate. Let's go ahead and do that. The conjugate is going to be uh, 6 minus 3 root 3 divided by 6 minus 3 root 3. And then the products. Let's go ahead and distribute this. This is going to be 12 root 3 minus 2 root 3 multiplied by 3 root 3 is 6 times 3, which is 18. Minus 3 si times 6 is going to be 18 again. And then plus I'm going to get 9 root 3 from here. And then the bottom is going to be a difference of two squares, 36 minus 27, which is 9. Awesome. Then, of course, what I need to do is I need to take that expression and square it. I need to take that expression and square it. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. Uh, 12 plus 9 is going to be 21 root 3 minus 36 divided by 9 squared. Now, what we need to do is we can actually simplify this because everything is divisible by 3. So that'll be 7 root 3 minus 12 divided by 3. And then we'll square that expression. And then when we square the expression, it's going to look like uh, the following. Uh, 7 root 3 squared is going to be 49 times 3, which is 147. Minus their product is going to be 84 root 3, but double that, 168 root 3, plus 12 squared is going to be 144. Okay? And then all over 9. Obviously, what you can do is you can just go ahead and add these two quantities up. That's going to give you 291. Okay? and minus 168 root 3 divided by 9. And luckily, uh, all of these numbers are divisible by 3, so we can go ahead and um, divide everything by 3 and write our ratio in actually uh, the simplest form. Uh, divide everything by 3, so this should be 97. Uh, 168 would be 56 root 3 divided by 3. So basically, this is the ratio I've been looking for. And if you're wondering what that ratio is going to look like, that's actually a very, very small number. Um, and uh, that's actually going to be something like, because, okay, it looks like a large numerator, right? But the fact is that the square root of 3 is about 1.7. When you multiply that by 56, you're going to get a number that's really close to 97. So the difference will be very small. And if you're wondering what that's going to look like, it's approximately... 0.0017. All right. Awesome. Great. Thank you so much for watching. And I'd like to see your comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.